because you know this is something I learned from Rav Shalom. Rav Shalom Arush he, he wrote the books Garden of Faith and Garden of Peace and 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 then he made the Universal Garden of 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 Faith and uh, and 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 people started asking questions about this book why is he writing books for the nations you're not allowed to teach Torah to the nations it's uh, there's a certain halakha that is discussing that issue if you're allowed to teach Torah to the nations or if you're not allowed to teach Torah so he said a very very clear and sharp and bright and 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 and, and simple answer that we're not going and teaching Torah the rules of the obligations of the mitzvot, what you're allowed to do, what you're not allowed to do, because, for an example, a lot of mistakes can come by that, because if you're going to guide people and teach them exactly the details of halachot, how to keep halacha, so a person can assume to himself, okay, so what's the difference between me to a Jew? And he will assume, okay, so I'm Jewish. And because he really wants to be, so he will say, okay, I'm Jewish, and, and he will go with that. But then... He, he he can he can create a problem with with the with the halacha with the rule that Jews are not allowed to to have mixed uh, weddings and, and marriages They're not allowed to marry non-Jews so we can come to a situation that won't be comfortable that that person he assumes that he's a Jew he really lives his life like a Jewish person but he's not Jewish. So he's going to make people mistake to think that they can or suppose and allow to, to marry him and, and, and they're not. So because of that, you have that problem of teaching the rules of the Torah to all of the people around the world, to guide them in the precise rules of the Torah. But to teach people faith, emunah, it's an obligation. Why? And that was the separation that Rav Shalom made on that topic. He said, look, the seven um, mitzvot of Bnei Noach, the seven obligations that all of the nations have been commanded, so the main and the first one of them is to believe in Hashem Elokei Israel, in God, the King of Israel, in the Creator, that He chose the nation of Israel to spread the word of Hashem, to teach wisdom to the nations, to be the light to the nations, and, and, and to give it to, 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 to be His messengers on earth, to be the, the nation that will... will, will, will will distribute the light of, of, of faith in the world. So that faith, that mitzvah, that obligation to believe in the Creator is a mitzvah, it's an obligation for everyone. So we're not coming and teaching the details, details of the rules of that. We're just helping every person in the world to connect himself to the Creator without violating any rules, without bringing ourselves to places that are are, are not comfortable and can cause problems. Every person in the world must have the ability to call the Creator, to be in touch with Father in Heaven. Everyone. <coughs> there is no reason that a person that wants to believe in the Creator will not going to believe in the Creator. You, you cannot come with a, with a crazy assumption like that, that you should prevent someone from believing in the Creator. So the most simple thing in the world, the thing that is bonding and connecting all human beings, <coughs> it's that thing that we have a creator. And to go and to spread that word, the word of Hashem, that everyone going to know Him, that everyone going to believe in Him, that everyone will be able to count on Him, to talk to Him. That's the main obligation. And if you need people that will go and do that job, so I've been hired. We're throwing ourselves to the water. We're not afraid of the fire. We're not afraid from, from, from the difficulties. We have that holy desire, that holy flame inside of us that is calling us from inside and saying, hey, there are still people that, that, that are thirsty. We were driving, my wife and I, today this morning from, the, from, from one place to the other. And uh, suddenly I saw a woman sitting on the sidewalk, just sitting on the sidewalk. So immediately I, I slowed down and I said to my wife, uh, what's going on with that woman? So she said, my wife is saying to me, listen, you cannot stop your car for every person you see that needs help. You don't know, there are a lot of crazy people today. And I told her, you're right. 
There are a lot of crazy people today. But you cannot not stop for every person that needs help also from the other side. But you must open your eyes. If really someone, maybe she got dizzy, maybe she fainted, maybe she fell, maybe she needs help, maybe she is lost, maybe uh, you cannot ignore from the other side. She's right. You need to have someone in the family to protect the family. And you need someone in the family to, to desire Hashem. She was okay, this lady. She was too busy smoking, sitting on the floor, so it was okay. We drove away, but at least we checked. <laughs> I want to tell you that 